was a clip from the new film Marguerite, in which a 1920s pampered Parisian socialite devotes herself to singing opera out of a pure and deep love for the art. But despite her passion, she is sadly devoid of talent. And here to give us his review of the movie is WSJ film critic Joe Morgenstern. Welcome, Joe. Great to see you. Thank you, Tanya. Great to see you, even though I can't see you. I, that's true. <laughs> but, Joe, is it true that this film is inspired by a true story? Yes, it is. But the key word is inspired. You know, usually when I see that uh, title card in, in, at the beginning of a film based on a true story or inspired by, by a true story, my heart sinks because it usually means the story has been lost in the shuffle and the movie is just taken off in ridiculous directions of its own. The story that inspired this wonderful film, Marguerite, is that of a woman named Florence Foster Jenkins, who was an American. Marguerite, of course, is a Parisian socialite in 1920s Paris. Florence Foster Jenkins was an American who sang in a manner of speaking <laughs> in the 1930s and 1940s. She was a socialite too, not so rich, but had social connections and gave concerts where she sang in this ghastly voice that delighted her audience because they were just howling with derision at her. Oh. She became this ludicrous spectacle. She, just before she, her life ended in the, 19, I think it was 1944, she gave a concert in Carnegie Hall. And of course her voice was as horrible as ever. Meryl Streep, I should say, has, I believe, completed a film called Florence Foster Jenkins, which is due to come out sometime later this year. But Tanya, this is the film to see and to cherish. Oh. Marguerite takes off from this notion of a devotee of the vocal arts who can't sing and makes her a woman who is howlingly funny as she howls with this <laughs> terrible voice of hers, but who's also a woman with a pure heart and your heart goes out to her. There's absolutely no distinction in this movie between funny and anguishing. It's one thing at one moment and one thing at another. And I just love that when it's hard to describe the emotions you're feeling at a given moment, you just know you're feeling a lot. You're going on a ride for sure. But Joe, do Marguerite's friends and acquaintances, do they encourage her out of uh, well-meaning or are they mocking her? Well, they're essentially mocking her though in a way, there's no stopping her, and that's part of her appeal as the, the wonderful heroine that she becomes. She's gallant. She, does she know that she can't sing? Does she know that these notes coming out of her mouth are, what did I say in my review, uh, uh, enough to peel the varnish off a Louis XV <laughs> armoire? Uh, that's that's part of the mystery of who she is and why she does what she does. And so in a sense, the movie is a great mystery, somewhat solved toward the end, but the mystery is the thing, and her gallantry is what makes the movie so extraordinary. And did you enjoy Catherine Frott's performance? As oh, Catherine Frott. You know, I've, I've known her work since the 1990s. She's a droll comedian who, the first movie of hers that I saw was called uh, An Air de Famille, Family Resemblances, a wonderful movie from the, the late 1990s. But, oh my, she is so extraordinary. This is the performance of a lifetime in, in a truly remarkable film. Oh, amazing. Do you sense there could be perhaps an Oscar nomination in it? You know, these days you never know about foreign films. Yeah. Audiences are not thrilled to read, uh, to see films where they have to read subtitles. 
The foreign film market, let's be honest, is in decline in this country. We're much less curious about how the rest of the world lives and how they make films than we used to be. But surely this film will be remembered by the end of the year. But, you know, let's not worry about awards. Sure, on of course. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's seize the moment and go see this film while it's still in the theaters and you can enjoy it. Absolutely. I love films about art and about loving art. So this sounds like it's right up my alley. Joe Morgenstern, thank you so much for that. Thank you, Tanya.